Hey guys, this is Vinay back to the fifth video of the C++ programming in video series. So, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to discuss about something printing the text or the console. What's console? This terminal where I'm working. This, this is the console. And in this pro pro in this tutorial, uh, what are the program we are going to write? Our task would be to write something over this console. Now. To write something over this console, we need to fetch some libraries, some binary stuff that is predefined, that is that is defined by the C++ compiler, whatever we use, we have downloaded, we have installed, and uh, we have to fetch some functions from uh, from objects from that particular library. Where these libraries are present, we can go very simply, as in our previous tutorial. Okay, we need to go into the user. <laughs> and uh, C G++ is installed in the bin and we need to include some libraries into our program so we will move into the include folder what we want to include in, inside our file sorry and what files C++ files and of version 4.6 files and uh, here we I'm going to tell you about that there's a header or there's a um, include file or what we call it we call it a header file in a C++ file because usually in a C++ source file we use this file at the heading as the heading of this program so we call it the header files now for doing the output of the screen we need a, a file a header file that would call the libraries inside the lib folder that deals with the input and output or the console getting me okay now that file that header file that contains the information about the objects functions about uh, those uh, objects and the functions that perform the input and output for the console the name of that file is io stream it's input output stream okay go on with that you can see that this is a header file we can open it using the last command that's pretty easy Come on it, go down, go down, go down, you can find something, okay, go on, we are, we are just at the position, okay, we got it. These are the few things that we are going to use in our program. For example, you can see here, it's C in, it's C out, it's C error, it's C log. There are the various objects that are used for input and output over the console you can see that every object c n c r c r c log each and every one starts with c c stands for console here and you can see the command out here that the linked to the standard input okay so you can see the so c out console out linked to the standard output what's the standard output whatever you are seeing over this screen this terminal or anything these are called this is called the standard output these this is standard and this is output whatever the output we get it over here that's why it's a standard output cn deals with the input whatever we want to provide as input to a program as we have discussed in the main function uh, we have provided some input as a parameter okay we want to provide some input uh, as a user defined say i want to type something from my keyboard we can use the scene object for that and c error for error and fv log our main concern in this tutorial is the c out is the extreme external o stream c out we discuss these in details later on but our task how to use the c out okay move on come on to the place where we were exactly where we were where we were we are at the home directory workspace and the c++ now here i'm going to uh, create a file and uh, this source file would contain the data for printing some text over the screen so the my file the name of my file should be print.cc is that fine okay go on with this okay now we have opened that file inside the gedit editor okay fine uh, uh, yeah okay fine now what I'm gonna do with this uh, I need to uh, use this particular library which contain um, C out and uh, object inside that and for this we need to include that file now what we do to include a file inside a program we use preprocessor what's preprocessor we we'll discuss it in later but uh, for now hash you need to write some hash and include directly. 
this include as a director we are just telling these are the preprocessor these are the these codes that the starts with hash are compiled first every source program uh, C++ program uh, uh, moves to passes through various compilation phases and hash uh, those uh, instructions uh, that start with hash are the preprocessors and uh, there's a stage called the preprocessing where it get processed so uh, I'm going to uh, I, I want to use the IO stream library IO stream header file into my program so we uh, need to write include in this way hash include now what I'm going to include I want to include the IO stream and that's pretty easy now not only just C out C in or with C out with C in there are a hell lot of header files there are a hell lot of objects there may be possible there may must be the possibility that C out that we have saw in a C IO stream might be possible in some other header file might be present in the might be a user defined object so the C++ will always categorize these things that which C out and for this there comes there comes a concept of the namespace namespace is just for categorizing the various things out there inside a program say if there's another C out uh, that is uh, not for writing over the console but for writing over a cat maybe I, I, there are possibilities that someone has def defined the program and in that case uh, everyone uh, someone would get confused okay which C out was that okay or maybe that was uh, um, for the console or for this for the C++ defined okay now we are going to use the category that is defined a standard that is defined by the C++ itself and for this we use the use the keyword using 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 what I'm going to use I'm going to use the namespace which namespace I'm going to use the namespace std that's pretty easy now we are done with using or including various files what we are going to use in our program now the time to write code that will ex actually do something now as per our previous tutorial we have come with the, the with the fact that every c++ program should have a main function now let's go with the main function we have already discussed the same now here at this place uh, I'm going to write the body of the main function and that will include the C out function. What is that? C out. It's case sensitive. It ha this has to be small in letters. All, all the things. Now, now C out is just representing. It's linked with the console output. Now what I want to do, I want to do, I want to print a, a string over the console output. What, what is string I want to write? I'm gonna, I am the best. Bam. Now, I want to write I am the best string over the console output. Now, how would I write this? This is the string. You can see that. This is the string. This is the console output. I want to write this to this. In this direction. I want to write this string in this direction over this object. Bam. That's the, that's the specialty of the C++. We are done with that. Just writing these in direction, these uh, this operator, um, this double less than sign, it's just pointing to the C out. It's giving the direction in this direction. So I'm writing I am the best for the C out, and it's done with that. Now uh, every C plus program instruction you can see here, as in the namespace std, I have put a semicolon so every C++ programming statement uh, ends with semicolon if so in this case also we have to write the semicolon now I'm done with my program that will exactly write the I'm the best on the console screen don't believe me okay I'll demonstrate it you will watch it by yourself come on here I need to compile the CC print.cc come on it bam it's compiled successfully output in the a dot out and for executing um, an a dot out file we use the period and slash sign and press enter you can see i am the best right here now you can see that i am the best right here but what's the prompt my console been to sangana wow why it's here why it's not on next line 
Whenever we write any program like PWD, okay, after printing the output, it comes to the next line. Why does it come in this case? It's because I have provided I am the best as the string to the console output C out, but I haven't provide I haven't instructed him to move on to the next line. And for instructing him to move on to the next line, we use the and L character. Don't believe me? Okay, write it down. G added. Oh my God. G added. Print.cc. Go ahead. Now what? What left? Uh, and L character. Now and L character. We need to write this to the C out itself. What can we do? Oh wait, wait. We cannot write here, so we can write it here. And L. Is that so? Yes, it is. Now, by writing and uh, to the C out, we are instructing it that write a new line character at the end of I am the best. And for this, for this C out would get to understand. Okay, I got the arrow character. I need to move on to the next line. Don't believe me? Watch it out. Close it down. Compile it once again. Print and C. Whoa. Compile. Ah, 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 nice Compile successfully. Now what I'm gonna do out. Okay, I'm the best. Now I move on to the next line and we do some So in this particular tutorial we have move uh, we have uh, done a program that uh, writes over the console screen and write really something and doing something this time. So I'm very happy with this. And in for this we have learned including a header file into the program using the or see our object into the program how to write uh, the data inside the <coughs> sorry inside the main function and uh, the concept of namespaces that is introduced in the newer versions of the c plus plus and for this i'm done with the program that exactly writes something so this is enough for this tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe